Hello and welcome. It's Bill Skladowski. Thanks for stopping by for another exciting edition of What's New Wednesday. Every Wednesday, another tip, trick, uh, you know, something cool and fun to help you use your iPhone and iPad uh, to make it better, uh, help with your digital life, as we say. And then, of course, Friday, uh, we're doing our iPhone A to Z series on iPhone Friday. So stop by for that one as well. But a couple of tricks today, and I'm going to be honest with you, the, this is a two for one. So we got two tricks, not ah, tricks two techniques to help you use your device better today. The first one was sent in by one of our viewers and it's about the older iPhones like mine that have a button on them, a home button. So if you have a six, a seven or an eight, an iPhone six, seven or eight, this first one is gonna be for you. You guys with the newer ones, the tens and elevens, not so much. So, But hang on because we have another trick coming up that will help you with no matter what iPhone or iPad you have as well. So there you go. All right, so first one is for, like I said, the six, seven, eights, is about the Touch ID, right? These have the fingerprint reader on them and you can add fingerprints into your phone so that you can use more than one finger uh, to get yourself into your phone. Awesome. So here's the thing that I hear from folks and that is once I've done it, let's, let's jump in there for a second, shall we? Hang on a second, let's go over to our phone. All right, and let's go into settings. Always, always settings, right? And again, if you have a six, seven or eight, you will have an, uh, uh, an entry for touch ID and passcodes, right? Now your other one, if you have a newer one, it's face ID and passcodes. Stay with us. Touch ID and passcode. You gotta put in your passcode and then you can't use your finger. You have to actually type it in. So let's see if I've remembered it correctly. Oh, I have. And of course, there's all the settings on what you can use Touch ID or Face ID for. But here's the thing I want to talk about, and that is, see down below where it says fingerprints? A lot of times people will ask me, well, I've put fingerprints in and I want to put more in and I don't remember which one. Or I've also given this phone to a friend or my partner or a child and we've set their fingerprint in it along with mine because you can have you can have different fingerprints, right? You can have my fingerprint, your fingerprint, whatever in here to open up the phone. So anyway, the question then becomes, look, I've got one, two, three, four, five fingerprints. Which one is which? How do I know? <laughs> okay, and here's the answer. Put your finger on the touchpad, on the home button, and watch what happens, all right? So I'm gonna, here's fingerprints. I'm gonna put my finger on it and can you look at that? It lights up what finger it is. So right hand, index finger, touch, finger five. <gasps> Who knew? And then how about left hand thumb? That's number one, look at that. Who knew? Now, that's cool enough as is, right? But you can also change the names, right? So if I tap right on finger number one there, okay, you can delete it if you need to, but up above, it says finger number one, but it also says, oh, look, the cursor's on there. I can edit that. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Left thumb. Thumb. <laughs> thumb. I have fat thumbs, so my typing doesn't work all the time, right? And then down at the bottom, it says done, done and now it remembers which one it is. Super helpful if you have somebody else also having their own their fingerprints on your, your phone. And I don't just mean like on the phone. I mean you give like a child or a partner that you've given access to the phone, right? They can use their fingerprint. And this is how you can know which is which and how you can manage those. So there you go. That's number one, super cool. The other thing that we had talked about, and this goes back, um, a week or so because I think we actually did use this or did show this a little bit. Actually, I'm just gonna jump right back, is wallpaper. Remember we talked about you can set a picture as wallpaper? I just learned literally this week that you can uh, adjust the wallpapers that you have individually. So again, back to settings, right? And then wallpaper, it's got its very own entry there, just tap on wallpaper. And remember, if you were with us a couple of weeks ago, we used my friend Wiley Coyote there as uh, a wallpaper, I set him as a picture, all right? And then I also have a separate picture, one of the built-in iPhone wallpapers as the home screen wallpaper, right? So say you had the same picture on both, 
but because of the way the apps and stuff were set up or because of the way the screen looked, right, it would, like if it was on the home screen, it really should be a little different. It looks, it should be moved or bigger or smaller or something like that. Well, you can do that. And the way is you literally, once you're on this screen, right, settings and wallpaper, just long press, oops, long press on the wallpaper itself, er, come back, and it opens it up. All right, maybe, wait a minute, I might have been wrong. I don't want to steer you wrong. I think it's just tap. Just tap on Wiley, and it opens him up, okay? So now I can move him around, because it's a picture, or I can open, you know, close. And all I'm doing, by the way, is just moving with a finger. You, you know that, right? And then two fingers to pinch in and out to move him in and out. So there we go. We can make Wiley. We'll make him real big, and we'll put him right in the center of the screen. And then down at the bottom, cancel and save. You know that. Tap on save, setting wallpaper, and there he is. So now, when I go back to it, all right, if I turn the phone off and I turn the phone back on, there's Wiley nice and big. Same thing with the inside one. If I tap on the inside one, I can do the same thing. I can move it around, right? I can open it, close it, do all of that th uh, stuff as well. Now this one, it just so happens, this is one of the built-in iPhone wallpapers, so it's perfectly sized. So it might not work so well. But if you have another picture, or maybe you were using the same picture of Wiley, but you wanted him smaller, you could do exactly the same thing. You just tap on it, open it up, move it around to where you want it, hit the set button down beneath. I'm going to cancel. Hit the set button down beneath, and you can set the two wallpaper sizes and scalings and all that stuff. You can set them independently, even if you're using the same photo as the wallpaper on your home screen and the wallpaper on your uh, lock screen. There you go. All right, that's going to do it for today. I just wanted to keep it quick and easy. If you haven't yet, please head over to the blog at BillSkladowski.com. There's the address for you. At BillSkladowski.com, sign yourself up for our weekly newsletter. Uh, just click on, on, this is the home page. You'll, you'll know when you see the kids watching the video, you'll know you're in the right place. Click on the Click Me button there. Put in your email. All you're going to do is get one email a week. If something important or special happens, you might get another one. But generally, and I haven't broken the rule yet, one email a week of the past videos that were this past week's videos. So you'll see what the Wednesday video was and the iPhone Friday video was in case you missed them. You can go back and watch them. And you also get the free handout from the iPhone Friday class. Like I said, those are usually a little more in-depth, how to do something. And I prepare a handout for it, just like I would for class when I was teaching class a while back. And you'll get that for free as well. So jump on over to BillSkladowski.com and you will get all those goodies. Thanks again for joining me. This has been uh, What's New Wednesday. Standby coming up is iPhone Friday, of course, as we continue our iPhone A to Z series. We'll see you then. Thanks. Take care.